Let's face it, who doesn't want to be a master? In this video, I'm going to give you the three steps to mastery of code. Step one is to learn the rules. If you're going to choose a language to learn and master, the first thing you need to understand is the rules of that language, what you can do, what you can't do, what things should do, the constraints and confines of that language and the rules of that language. So this means learning syntax in code, learning if you have to put semicolons at the end of lines, whether you have to uh, open and close normal brackets, curly brackets, parentheses, square brackets, what those rules mean. And when you apply them in code, you know, understanding the basics of the code. And that's all there is to, to step one. And it's where most people are. They learn the code. They learn how to do something. But that is the first step towards mastery. Step two is to master the rules. Now, what this means is you have to fully understand the language. You have to be able to be aware of every rule in the language, um, every uh, syntax in the language. And ultimately, what happens once you know that is that you can predict what's going to happen. You are aware of what code will do before you've executed the code. So you could write some code and explain exactly what's going to happen before you run the code. And that's the start of mastering the rules and not necessarily the language. Um, and one of those powers it gives you, as I mentioned, is to be able to predict the outcome. Um, another sign that you've mastered the rules is to get somebody else that watches you and to basically to onlookers, to outsiders, when they watch you work, it should look effortless. You shouldn't be struggling to remember how to type an array or how to create a function or if you want to do something that's possible in the code already. So there's functions that exist or there's capabilities in the code. You should be able to instantly type that code with very little thought, um, just like you are speaking. So you don't need to think in advance of words. So that's what it means to master the rules. So the third and final rule to mastery of code, and this shouldn't come as a surprise to any of you that watch my videos because I teach this all the time. The third rule and the final stage to mastery of code is to break the rules. So this means to take your existing knowledge or mastery of code and the rules that govern those codes. And because you understand it so perfectly and so clearly, you're able to already predict the outcome of expected code. And you already know the reasons and the expected behavior where code and syntax and certain things in the language are meant to be used. And now it's time to break those rules and to one that will help you prove your knowledge and understanding. And two, it will also help you be more efficient in your work and to really master um, the skill and to make use of everything around you to form into uh, basically to bend the code to your will to do something as you need it to do. So this is things like um, taking existing technology and reapplying it to a situation that suits you that it was never intended to be used in. Um, so a real simple example would be say MVVM that's designed for being used in a model view view model kind of um, mechanism. Well, if you've mastered MVVM, you know it's very simple uh, and it's basically just a model uh, that has a notification when any property changes. And the UI's job is to simply hook into that notification and monitor for changes and update itself. So it's a really, really simple principle. Now, when applied and masked and used the way that most developers use it, it seems like magic. To somebody that's mastered the language, they can remake MVVM. And it's something I've actually done, and it's very simple, and I'll share the code in a future video. So there's nothing magical about MVVM when you've mastered MVVM. Uh, but the way then that you truly understand and you master the whole language uh, and the whole technology is to break those rules. So now start thinking about how the principle of using that technology, that skill, that ability to fire off an event and monitor for it and update some UI can be applied in other areas of code and in other uh, ways that suit your needs. I and mean, that's when you really start to master things. And if you believe you haven't ever mastered something and you've never broken a rule, then what you typically have to do is just simply think of a time when you've been stuck on a problem. You've hit a bug. You've needed to work around. Well, guess what? Those workarounds are usually breaking the rules. You're usually doing something that was not meant to be done to work around a problem. And that is actually part of the first step of the final stage of mastery of code. 
So all you have to do is to remember to learn the rules, master the rules so they're proficient and easy to you and it looks seamless to others, and then start breaking those rules. And the final stage lasts indefinitely. You never get to a limit where something can never be reapplied to another um, program or another method or another style or, you know, there's always use for code. Um, so this final step is never ending. But if you stick to those three rules, you can become, you know, a master of code.